Good morning. Now, I was just unloaded a, a uh, truck was talking to the driver from uh, Southeastern Freight, and we got to talking about missing church, and during that conversation, was talking, I really, really miss uh, going to church on Easter this year. And, and so I, I, I told him, you know, we really uh, should celebrate Easter every day. It's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And and if you're a child of God, that, that should be a, something we celebrate every day because uh, it's because of that resurrection that we are saved, that, that we've won the victory over death, hell, and the grave. And, uh, and, and we should celebrate that salvation every day and that in our life. And uh, Jesus, in Hebrews 7, 25, said, Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that comes uh, unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. He's still on the throne and that making intercession for you and I. He's still saving souls and that today. He's still there. Uh, hearing our, our prayers and as we talk to him day in and day out, we're not only saved in that on Easter Sunday uh, uh, or any other Sunday, but we're saved every day in that uh, of the week. That that, that salvation will never leave me. And then, uh, from the day that, that, that I asked him into my heart, and, uh, I'll always be saved. And uh, it's the same. And that for each and every one, he's no respecter of persons. If you've accepted Jesus Christ, and that is your Savior, you'll be saved. And that uh, forevermore, we have eternal life. It's it's not something that we're going to gain one day. Right now, we're going to lay this old body down. Uh, and, and we call that death. And that, but for a child, of God, uh, it's not death, it's just uh, uh, the, the way and that, that we get to go home and that to be with uh, Jesus says, uh, flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of God and uh, we've got to lay this body down one day, well, I know there's not any of us uh, uh, that's in a hurry and that to lay this body down and we shouldn't be, God uh, gave us this life and uh, during this life he's given us the opportunity to tell somebody about Jesus Jesus, and, and we need to take that opportunity and celebrate the salvation and that that he's given to us freely and then, uh, day in and day out, not just uh, waiting and that until uh, Sunday, not waiting and that until we're able to get together in church. We'll be able to gather and, and that soon. And uh, when we come together, there's no reason why, even though we might have missed that day on the calendar <coughs> that the, uh, the, that says that it's Easter Sunday, uh, the next time that we gather together, uh, we can still celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ just the same as we would have. And then on that day of the calendar, and we can celebrate it today. We can celebrate it uh, if God grants us to have to wake up and that in the morning. Morning, we can still celebrate that same salvation that he gave and that when he, he gave his life on Calvary that we might have that freedom and, and he said if I set you free he said we're free indeed and we're free and that to lift up the name of Jesus we're free to celebrate in that salvation uh, we're free in that uh, to have a home in glory one day after a while I mean there's a lot of things in that that come against us in this life but I uh, We've been set free in that by the blood of Jesus, and, and we've got plenty in that <coughs> to celebrate in that uh, today. We've got plenty in that to lift up the name of Jesus for, no matter uh, what turmoil might be outside of that in this old world. We still have Jesus. We're still saved. <coughs> We're still bound and that for glory one day after a while. Celebrate salvation today. God bless.